Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You can see here Nissan Frontier with the 4 liter V6 engine and, and I have to perform idle relearn procedure because I cleaned the throttle body and the MAF sensor and idle is way too high. Also I have a code P0507 which is idle speed control system RPM higher than expected. So it needs to relearn and I will show you in this video how this procedure is done. Learn. And there are certain conditions. You have to have this motor um, warm up and also the transmission, right? So it cannot be cold. When the engine is idling, it must be charging the battery, right? Uh, over 13 volts. Transmission needs to be park or neutral, so I will leave it in the park. All the loads will be off, nothing will be running. Steering wheel needs to be straight and the foot will be not on the pedal. So let's go and get in the cabin. And the whole procedure starts this way. You can stay with me here and watch it. So basically what you do is turn the key on for two seconds. And not what's it, what what's it, and turn it off for at least 10 seconds. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the SEM, the key for 2 seconds. 1, 2, and off and wait at least 10 seconds. 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the key will do. I will put the key on for exactly three seconds, and then I will fully depress pedal five times in five seconds. All right? So on one, two. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm waiting seven seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I press the pedal and hold it for approximately ten seconds. After that, the check engine light starts flashing. You can see there. And when it will go off and it will become steady, I need to let go of that pedal and start the engine. And now, and you can see that idle went nicely down, right? From that crazy idle which I had before, and I had this light, so I will erase this code, right? The race was successful. I can go back to the codes if there are any present. So you see there is a zero, which is of course great. The idle, it's wonderful, right? You can hear the engine nicely idling, right? Everything is perfect. Of course, that relearning process, it's happening right now, right? It's the best what you can do is take it for the test drive right and put it through all the paces through all the gears and so on so that was the whole procedure let's see let's refresh it if I have any pending codes right it's a live data now let's go back to the DTCs just confirmation for you right there's no pending codes coming back the idle is nice and the whole procedure went perfectly. You can hear it perfectly idling, right? And please don't give up if it doesn't work for you on the first time. I have to actually do it twice, right? I really have to make sure that I put it a turn key on for these two seconds. I change it to the three, so I did it three seconds, ten off. 3 seconds, 10 off, 3 seconds, 10 off, then I put it on, right, 
for exactly those three seconds, five times depress that paddle, right? And waiting for the seven seconds, I was not holding the pedal, right? Press the pedal and hold for whatever, approximately 10 seconds, but it doesn't matter. You are observing the check engine light, right? It starts flashing, then it started flashing even differently, but still flashing. And when it really stopped and was lit, stop, let off, let go of that pedal, and within those three seconds, I started up, and the idle went immediately down. It was like a little miracle, right? You can hear it perfectly running, and it's working. So please, if it doesn't work first time, don't worry. Just go ahead, try again, and it will work for you. So thank you for watching, and have a great day, my friend.